Hello and welcome my beautiful Scorpio minds to a new stretching video and today we're going to be focusing a little bit on lower back and we'll see how we're going, alright? Let's get into it. This is all your practice so go as fast or as slow as you want to. Let's come into a tabletop position so your hands are under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Now look forward, your spine is still neutral and very very slowly press your spine to the ceiling. Create a lot of space between your shoulder blades, chin is tucked into your chest and your belly button is being sucked to your spine. Feel how you're creating more and more space in your neck, between your shoulder blades, between every vertebrae. Really let your hang, let your head hang. Feel how even your spine is elongating in your neck, between your shoulders. Move your head from left to right, keeping the swings really minimal, really small. Just releasing more tension in your neck. Because we tend to hold on to a lot of tension there. Hmm. Another breath in. Breath out, come back to neutral. Look in front. That felt already so good, didn't it? Take another breath in. And breath out, belly button to the floor. Look up, shoulders are back. Your hip is falling forward. Arch your back. Don't put too much pressure here, just go and feel where your spine is, like at its natural state, where you don't push, where you don't press, but it just kind of feels very nice to be here. Press your shoulders down and back. And just feel how this counter pose feels. Where is a little bit of compression? Where can you get away from that? feel like there is more space being created in your shoulder blades, you can move your head if that makes you feel good, also very gently, very slowly, maybe look over your shoulder and to the other side, giving you a little massage here. start swinging or try to bring your um, shoulder and your hip a little bit closer together on one side coming back to center go to the other side feeling the compression and feeling the elongation on one side and on the other side Really move with your body here. Feel what feels good. Tap into where you need a bit more. Let's press, let's 
spine back to the ceiling, creating a lot of space between your shoulder blades, head is tucked in, hips are tucked under, big breath. Breathe in, and then your breath out, drop your hips, belly button to the floor, look up, big breath in, breath out, breathe in, come back to neutral, and sit back on your feet, your hands are stretched out, your fingers are active, you actively want to come back, come forward a little bit while you are still resting your hips on your feet. Now maybe you feel a little stretch in your side, which is good. Maybe you feel a little bit of tension that's being released off of your shoulders, off of your spine. This is amazing. You can rest your forehead on the floor, maybe feel a little bit stretch in your shoulders, and try to let go of the tension while still being somewhat active in your shoulders, in your hands, and take a couple of breaths here. You breathe in, fill your ribs, feel how they're expanding towards the side, into your legs, creating space, searching for the inner relaxation. Slowly, with your hands, move towards your right side, trying to keep your shoulders in line, so press your left shoulder down a little bit, feel how your left side is opening up, and let go and surrender, taking really deep breaths here. Sending your breath in towards the spaces that feel a little bit tight. Trying to let go a bit more with every breath out. Breathe in, when you breath out, come back to the center and move it over to your left side again, keeping your shoulders in line, pushing or pulling that right shoulder back down to the floor. Breathe in to the spaces that feels a little bit tight, maybe it's your shoulder, Maybe it's your side, maybe it's even your glute. It's all good. Just try to let go 
bit by bit. Take a deep breath in on your breath out, come back to the center and bring your shoulders over your wrists in a tabletop position and let's continue with a little bit more movement. So I want you to drop your hips, come into a little back bend here. And now I want you to imagine you draw circles with your tailbone, taking your whole spine with you. It's also kind of like a skipping rope. A skipping rope that goes up and down, which is your spine. So choose one direction. And the movement starts from your tailbone and it moves up through your lower back. It takes the ribcage with you, the shoulders, the neck. Ultimately, it goes into your head, creating movement and really feel here what feels good, where you need to press a bit more where you want to be a bit more gentle with yourself. Create space. This is your practice. And you can do what feels good. Maybe you feel a lot of tension in your neck area, in your shoulders. Give it more attention there. Maybe you feel a bit of tightness around your abdominal muscles or lower back or hips. Then send your focus and your attention to that space. Slowly change sides. Let that circle be drawn in the other direction skipping rope, drawing the circles also in the opposite direction. Feel how this feels. Does it feel different? Does it feel good? Maybe one side is a bit more open than the other side. And that's okay. Maybe the circles can be a little bit bigger now because you're already warmed up. Back first, 
and now you want to draw big circles with your hips from down where we are now to one side to the front to the other side and back really take your time here and feel where there's tension where there is potential to let go a bit more and then do so really send it back feel every corner of your body if you need to stay at one place a bit longer do so if you want to move slower or faster do so <laughs> Mmm, doesn't this feel so good? Just moving, moving with your spine, allowing it to be healthy, to get warmed up. Take one last circle. Remember what side you went and then lie on your belly just for a second here. Swing your hips from side to side. <sighs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> Sometimes we need to give out little sounds so that we can feel more at ease. All right, bring your feet up. Now I want you to drop them. You can have your hands by your side. Drop your feet to one side. And then to the other side. It's kind of like windshield wipers. This will also release a little bit of tension in your lower back. It's like a baby twist. <laughs> You can look forward or bring your cheek to one side, really. Experiment here if you feel what feels best to you. You can at every point close your eyes to really feel more. Feel what your body's doing, how your body's feeling. Bring your feet back down, press yourself back onto your heels and I want you to go ahead and do these hip circles into the other direction. So go to one side, front, other side and press yourself back. Again, go as slow or as fast as you need to. Stop where you need to. And really do what feels best to you. Take one more hip circle until you're in the front again. Lie down on your belly. <laughs> your hands are next to your shoulders. Breathe in and with the breath out, push yourself up, shoulders are back. 
just until you can't go any further and you feel a little bit of your of a stretch in your back and maybe also in your belly really put the shoulders back look up and look down let your head drop once again look up and look down let your head drop look up and look down and stay down for a bit pressing your shoulders back always check on your alignment and now let your head roll from one shoulder back down to the other shoulder your shoulders are still down keep moving your head this is also like a little massage can you feel it how does it feel where does it feel good and work with your breath when your head is down stay down bring it up neutral position in your right hand in front of your belly button your left hand is going to come closer to your hip and now spiral and look over your left shoulder as much or as far as you can without being totally hurt here <laughs> this is really awesome for your spinal mobility and keep breathing stay here or if you want to go further if you want to have more of a stretch take that left hand and grab your right thigh and then bring your hips back down but if this is too much to stay in a first position that's totally fine your right shoulder as far as possible it should never hurt a lot just feel a little stretch here bring your shoulders down try to relax your glutes <laughs> and now we love to hold on to to tension Now stay here if it's enough, or bring that right hand over to your left thigh, and then drop those hips again, all while looking over your shoulder still.
right hand back in front. Slowly roll yourself back to the floor. You may feel some tension being released here, so go ahead and wiggle your hips from left to right. Keep on breathing. You're doing great. <laughs> Slowly roll over to your back. Just lie here for a second, putting your hand, one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly, and just focus on your breathing. Expand your ribs. Feel how your belly is lifting. I want you to really fill everything up and then releasing it. Again, fill it up. Chest and belly and release. One more time, fill up. And big exhale. Can you feel how the tension is just subsiding from your body? Bring your knees into your chest. Just roll around in your spine a little bit. And now draw big circles with your knees. Go really slow. This is loosening up your hips, your hip flexors. But at the same time, your lower back, because it's getting a little massage. Try the other side, see how that feels. Your hands are guiding your knees. your elbows and now on your breath out I want you to bring your nose close to your knees are you okay are you with me awesome breathe in and breathe out shoulder blades from the floor bring your forehead to your knees and relax Head back down. Again, breathe in. Breathe out, shoulder blades off the floor, head to knees, and relax. Bring everything back down. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your head in, really squeeze, 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 and back down. Awesome, release your knees, bring your hands next to you. Let your feet stand on the floor. And now really gently, I want you to drop your legs, your knees to one side. Bring them back up really gently and let them fall to the other side. You can also try how it feels if you look the other side. Get a bit more of a twist here. Continue to move.
The next time your knees fall to your right side, stay there, let them completely fall. Take a breath, see how it feels. Now I want you to bring that left knee or that left leg up as far as you can while your toes are touching the floor. So bring it up, 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 maybe even to your shoulder and then bring it back down, 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 down where it came from. I can breathe in, bring it up, 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 up. Feel the twist here and then bring it back down. How is that feeling for your spine? How is it feeling for your whole body pretty much? Next time your knees up, stay here and then you can put your hand on top of that knee if you want to, to give it a bit more pressure, a bit more stability. Stay here, look the other way, just for a couple of breaths, really releasing the tension in your lower back. on your mat and let your knees drop to the other side and you know what's coming right so we'll do the same thing your right leg don't let that's on top it's gonna come up 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 as high as it's comfortable to you maybe to your shoulder and then let it come back down while your tongue is still touching the floor and again up Hold it for a second and down. Continue with this movement in your own tempo. of your leg to give it a bit more pressure, look into the other direction and breathe.
slowly bring that leg back down. Bring yourself to the center of your mat. You can put your feet together in butterfly pose here. If you want a bit more opening in your hips, or you can also stretch your legs out or start in butterfly. Then stretch your legs out when you want to. Your palms are facing up. And this is our last pose. Shavasana. Really focusing on your breathing. Feeling how your body feels now after you dedicated your time towards warming up your spine. Giving it some movement, some love, some care. Give yourself a little smile on the inside. Feel the warmth that comes with it. Give yourself a big hug in your mind. Feel happy, feel proud that you stepped on your mat, that you did yourself something great, that you took some time out of your busy day to care for yourself, to care for your body, but also to care for your mind. Because no healthy body can exist without a healthy mind, and vice versa. I invite you to stay in Shavasana for as long as you want. And very gently come out when you feel ready. Thank you so much for being here with me, for taking this practice.